Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we check out the Cutlass bass from Ernie Ball Music Man. It is not very often you will find me admitting to completely sleeping on a particular instrument or piece of gear, but I am here to admit in front of the entire world that I completely slept on the Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass Bases. Here's why. I recently heard one of the gnarliest and fattest and most cutting bass tones I have ever heard from my buddy Bo Burchell. And Bo told me that that tone was simply his Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass bass. And I couldn't believe it. I have long associated Ernie Ball Music Man with the big, active, humbucker aggressiveness of the Stingray bass that, you know what? I will admit, I kind of overlooked the Cutlass bass and I was wrong. Now the Cutlass bass is deceptively simple. This is a split humbucker. This is not a single coil setup. This is a split humbucker with just a single volume and single tone. This bass is built for rock. Now the Cutlass Bass has modern amenities like a steel bridge and a crafted sculpted neck heel with the bolt on neck, the oversized headstock and modern Schaller tuners. But when you play it, there's a sense of familiarity that you would get with older instruments. And with that vintage feel and a very modern tone, you really get a complete package in one bass. Now, how would I describe the sound of this bass? I'm gonna compare it to a modern Stingray bass. Now, this is Ernie Ball's first completely passive bass, but it has the bigness and the cut of an active EQ system, but it doesn't have any of that. All of the magic is happening right here. And when you play it, it's, it's instant ghost tones. That ghost, I'm talking about the band, the ghost, bass tone of it's crunchy but cutting, there's lots of mid-range, that is the cutlass bass. It's just incredible. Now the split humbucker in the cutlass is an Elnico 5 pickup, meaning you can expect some pretty cutting tones, but not anything harsh or ice picky for when your pick hits the strings. There's still a nice roundness to the bass and it does well with pedals and compression. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite sounding basses uh, I've ever had here. And it bugs me just a little bit that I have been sleeping on it. I have been snoozing big time on the Cutlass and my point in making this video is to inform you guys, if you are in the market for a high quality American made bass guitar, please at least do yourself a favor and try the Cutlass series from Ernie Ball Music Man. These basses are really, really incredible and I don't think a lot of folks are really that hip to them. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.